Hi Toy Grabbers, welcome back to another tutorial of RF Toys. Today I'm gonna teach you to duplicate your action figure using Adobe Photoshop. If you have a limited budget like me, but you wanna make an army of your figure, or for example, you wanna make a shot of Stormtrooper army, then you should watch this video. I use a pretty easy method for this one, and also I'll show you the shooting process like usual. Now, let's roll that intro. Welcome back guys, today I'm gonna make a clone of this figure which is the C-3PO from Star Wars and don't forget to grab your camera, I'm using tripod when taking the picture I suggest you doing this too because it makes the post processing easier I will shoot 3 pictures that consist of this figure doing different posts but the sofa will stay there as a primary object This is my first pose, so I'll try to make this 3PO sit on the sofa wearing a robe, just chilling maybe then I change to the second pose where he stands up and facing towards the C-3PO figure in the first pose. And this is the last pose, I made the figure holding a lollipop beside the sofa. I shot inside my house, actually it's near the place where the lights come in, so it's quite bright, I don't use any LED light or external flash for this. And here are the pictures that I shot. And also I forgot to mention you, but this is my settings that I use for all those three pictures. ISO 320, F6.3, and shutter speed at 100. Okay, now open your Adobe Photoshop. First, import these two pictures, the one that sits on the sofa and the one that stands up. Double click this lock icon to unlock layer, so you can move it freely. Right click and choose rasterize layer. I'm gonna place the one with stands up 3PO at the bottom of the layer. Now click this icon to create layer mask on the upper layer. Change the foreground color to black first. Now you can brush on the layer mask to make some part of the bottom layer visible. So now I will brush on the place where the 3PO stands up. Now as you can see it will refill the figure after brushing this layer mask with the brush tool. If you brush too much like I did, you could switch the foreground color back to white to restore top layer's image. Since these two layers got different exposure level, now select bottom layer and click this brightness icon. Reduce the bottom layer's brightness. And I will make a little adjustment here with brush tool. I will merge all these layers by holding command or control if you're using windows and select all of them. Then right click and choose merge layers. Now I will do all the previous steps with the third picture.
So this is optional. I use spot healing brush tool to remove some dirty dust on the pink background here. I think that's enough. Now you can see my final picture. It blends very smooth. And this is after I retouch it in Adobe Lightroom. If you want to know how I retouch it, I did exactly the same settings like my previous color and video. So if you're curious about it, just go watch it. Here are my other photo when I duplicate uh, the figure with the same method like I do today. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Really appreciate it. If you like it, just leave the thumbs up before watching another video of mine. And also give a comment or suggestion in the comment section below. I'm really waiting for that. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye!